Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. I hope this finds you well, and I hope that you had a wonderful spring break. Um, welcome to our very first virtual school-wide morning meeting. Normally, we would be doing our school-wide morning meeting together in the auditorium, but since we can't do that, we wanted to bring it into your house. Um, so we're so excited that you're tuning in this morning. We've got lots of super fun things planned, including my favorite, the games. Um, so, so watch all the way through. You're gonna see some awesome stuff. Um, but as we begin our day together, um, today is Monday, April 13th, and I hope that you will please join um, standing and saying the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. Please join in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson Learning Leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. And now I will turn it over to the PBIS committee who has lots of awesome things planned today for our school-wide morning meeting. So stay tuned and enjoy.
Miss Fox loves you. Hi everyone, it's Miss Scally. I miss you. I am sending a lot of love your way from Mrs. Rickaball. Hi everyone, it's Miss Kimiti. I miss you guys. Hi for Miss Reason and Walter. Hello everybody, it's Miss Johnson. I miss you. Hello Hi. from the Lee House. We miss you guys. You look fabulous, Johnson. Lots of love for Miss Pillow. Mwah. Miss Thompson loves and misses you guys. Hello, Johnson Learning Leopards. It's Miss Johnson. I miss you. Hey, Johnson. Keep roaring. Hey, Learning Leopards. It's Miss Johnson. Just wanted to say that I love you and I miss you. Hello, Johnson family. Um, Mrs. Irwin misses you guys so much. Sending hugs and lots of hearts to my students in room 106. Miss Flowers loves you. Keep reading. Miss you all. Hi, Johnson family. Miss McKinney loves and misses you. Miss Whalen misses you. Hi, Miss Tipton misses you. Miss Walters loves you. Go. Good morning, Johnson Leopards. Mr. Myler says, please remember to be kind and read. Hi, Mrs. Warren loves you. Hola, niños. It's Senora Smith. Te extraño. I miss you. Hey, Johnson Learning Leopards. This is Miss Small. I was just letting you know that I miss you and I love you and I'm listening to the song. Miss Polina reminds you to savor each breath. <sighs> Miss Smith misses you. Hey, Johnson family, I love you and I miss you. Sending you lots of love from Miss Coleman. Hey everyone, it's Miss Croce. I just want to say I love and miss you all. Hi friends, it's Miss Covington. I miss you, love you. Hi from Miss Abbas. Hi guys, Miss Robertson sends you love. Hi Johnson family, it's Miss Crawley. I miss you. Hi students, Miss Schaff loves and misses you. Bye. Mrs. Hartwell misses you and loves you. All right guys, it's April birthday time. From Pre-K, we have Mangoba, Ilunga, London, Jackson, Lillian, Moon, Levi, Perry, and Shayla Shafiki. Happy birthday, Pre-K! From Kindergarten, we have Violet Chance, Sania Cusano, Mackenzie Harvey, Isla Jepson, Jennifer Tamang, Ivy Turney, and Maurice Tyree. Happy birthday, Kindergarten! From First Grade, we have Maggie Barnes, Atreyu Glass, Jake O'Hare, Henry Pillow, and Elena Young. Happy birthday, First Grade! From second grade, we have Amaka Amos Weaver, Stephen Brissett, Paul Leary, Louisa Platts Mills, and Wiley Zell. Happy birthday, second grade. From third grade, we have Yasmin Aravelo, Annika Braun Whalen, Justin Drewsgall, Gladys Keebway, Annabelle Pillow, and Pone Zaw. Happy birthday, third grade. And from fourth grade, we have Malik Bright, Amar Noor, Ixel Paz Gonzalez, and Iman Poja. Happy birthday, fourth grade. And of course, we can't forget our fabulous staff members who also have birthdays in April. And that is Miss Reason, Miss Bigler, Miss Schaff, and Mr. Carlos. So happy birthday to all of our April birthdays, please. I hope you all join me in celebrating all these wonderful people. We hope you guys have a great day. Hey, Johnson Learning Leopards and Families. It's Miss Coleman. Miss Robertson and I are going to do the Roar Rap with you. Miss Robertson is going to lead us, and you can follow along with me. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start our clap. Roar, rap. Hey, Learning Leopards, what do you say? Let's all do some roaring today. R O A. 
Okay. R, your turn. R. O. A. R. When I say Johnson, you say Roars. Johnson. Roars. Johnson. Roars. When I say Johnson, you say Roars. Johnson. Roars. Johnson. Roars. Now let's review. Just to be sure, repeat after me how we roar. R is respectful. R is respectful. O is open-minded. O is open-minded. A is actively engaged. A is actively engaged. And R is responsible. R is responsible. We are Johnson. We are Johnson. Hear us roar. Hear us roar. Woo! A little yellow cup, a little yellow cup, a little yellow star, a little yellow frill, and that's the daffodil. Cricket sleep, bees hum, robins came, birds sing, it's spring. Okay. Bugs crock rain shop chicks peep chicks peep crickets leap bees hum robins came birds sing it's spring by Shell Silverstein. Draw a crazy picture, write a nutty poem, sing a mumble gumble song, whistle through your comb, do a loony goony dance across the kitchen floor, put something silly in the world that ain't been there before. Yeah. Wind on the Hill by A.A. A. Milne. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere, as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then when I followed it, forever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Together in Solitude, The Town, by Jennifer Adams. If, if your anxious the old wind asked to stay home, take comfort in knowing you're not alone. Tonight, tonight at 8, wherever you are, gaze up at the sky and pick out a star. A moment alone or with people you love, we all share the beautiful sky above. Take 30 seconds, be still in your mind, reflect on the happy, most memorable time. The, little, the littlest things can give hearts a lift. If we pause, take a moment, and cherish our gift. Hi, Johnson family! It is my favorite part of the school-wide morning meeting. It is time for the games, and just because we're doing it from home does not mean that we're going to be any less competitive. So let me hear you cheer really loudly when I call each staff member down. So our first member is Miss Johnson. Woohoo! Hi, Johnson Learning Leopards. <laughs> and Miss Skelly. Hello! Here I am. I'm ready to win. And last but certainly not least, let's welcome Miss Branson. Hi, everyone. 
I was too excited. That's right. It happened. <laughs> All right, guys. For this first challenge, um, each teacher is going to stack five apples on top of each other. We had a practice round and Miss Branson tried to make a pyramid, but she has to stack them right <laughs> on top of each other. <laughs> and they want one minute. If all their apples fall, they have to start over again. Are you ready, contestants? Ready. ready. And go. Woohoo! I got this. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. Woo. Okay, let's see. Oh, I got two, I got two. I'm going to do this. Oh, I got three. Oh. All right. It's a little bit harder. Than I Almost. Come on. Oh, man. oh, I got three. Four, I got four. Oh. Johnson, you got this. You got this. All right, let's try again. 24 seconds. All right. The pressure. I got this. Miss Johnson's going to win. Oh, hear me on. Woo! I'm starting to sweat. Woo! Yeah, we can do this. Oh, man, I cannot get it. Yeah, no. Okay, let me try again. All right. Five seconds. I got it. Oh! Did you get it, Miss Johnson? I had four. Yes. Look at this woman. She's like, I don't care about the parrot. The baby's upset that I'm not winning. That's right. Everyone's going to win. I know. All right. Time's up, guys. Thanks for. Wow. Oh, well, we tried. All right, guys, here we are for our second game of our morning meeting, and this is a forehead cookie challenge. So let me hear it for Mr. Myler Woo. and Miss Rickaba. Hello. And Miss Crawley. And last but not least, Miss Wayland. Yeah. All right, guys, for this challenge, there's going to be a minute on the clock. There's going to be a cookie on everyone's forehead. And using no hands, they are going to work to get the cookie from their forehead to their mouth. Even after we have a winner, we're going to keep going if it hasn't been a minute yet and see who can get first, second, third place. All right. Are we ready? Put the cookie ready. on your forehead. Ready. And go. Oh, Waylon's got some good facial expressions. Oh, Miss Crawley. Can I use a broken cookie? Go for it. Another eye. Ah! Got it! Uh, we got it, Miss Crawley. Way to go! Keep going. Thirty seconds. Oh, oh, oh. I was so close. It oh, Miss Rickaba, second place. Woo! All right, Waylon, you got it. Come on, Mr. Myler. There you go, Miss Waylon. It's so close. Oh, Woo! Come on, Mr. Myler. Oh. That's all my cookies. <laughs> uh, that's right. 15 seconds left. Miss Wayland, that was like an impressive like jump into your mouth. <laughs> that was some talent. All right. Miss Crowley took that one. Way to go. Yeah, Miss Crowley. Thanks for playing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. One, two, here we go so long.